Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 in the Pandya Empire. In the last episode we won a few more holy wars down in this area and put down multiple Afghani revolts up here in the mountains. And now we are about to set up for a few more simultaneous wars. I'm going to press a claim to this duchy here, which I believe we should be able to do. We have a weak claim available. And also there is a strong claimant available to this duchy, so we're going to invite and land both of those characters and declare those wars along with whatever other holy wars we could declare over here. So let's get going with that. Uh, let's see, you want to be invited to court and we had a strong claimant to this duchy, which was you. So let's get them invited. May as well leave our retinue up here. We are paying quite a lot now for their upkeep. But that is okay. We need to grant you a landed title, give you 10 Cassie. want my duchy title, but I am going to reject you. And we're still waiting for our second claimant. There he is. We'll give you this county, which is also in my capital duchy, if I remember correctly. Okay, that has, has actually put us over our vassal limit as well. So, let's see, we should be able to create a duchy title up here. Baluchistan is probably... Actually, Sistan is five counties, all of which we control, so that's probably the best one to create. That will get rid of four vassals. Uh, let's see if any of these people are especially gifted in any way. You're a pretty good character, I guess. Not much, really, to choose from between them. I guess we'll give it to this guy. He's content, so he won't cause me any problems. Okay, so entered 32 out of 35, so shouldn't have any more problems here. So we have both of our claimants landed down here. They actually have almost the same emblem. That's interesting. Uh, anyway, uh, if it is based on their dynasty, I think it's no, it's not, okay. It's almost the same emblem because their counties right next door to each other, I guess. So anyway, that should give us the ability to declare war for both of their claims. We got this declared. We'll get... Let's see, these are county claims. This one declared, and... We should have a truce with this guy, I think. Oh, we actually don't, okay. Grace, Kerman or Khorasan? Uh, Kerman would give us two counties here. I guess we'll take that. Holy War for Kerman or Khorasan? Oh, that's that county up there. We'll take Kerman. Uh, the Suleimanids, who are actually relatively powerful over here, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. Ooh, not send gift. And you're not even the top liege, so we can't declare war on you. Yeah, I guess we'll take Kerman. It's three separate holy wars for the same duchy. We can take a holy war for Fars against you. And who are we not yet at war with? Can we declare up here? Holy War for Khorasan, which I guess is just going to be one county. Okay, that's probably everybody. I guess we could start trying to conquer over here, but I don't really want to do that. At least not yet. 
So that will probably do us for the moment. I guess we'll go ahead and raise all of our troops. We don't even have any vassals who are annoyed about their levies being raised, so that's good. Now let's see. I'll have you gather back here. And you can all head over here too. And you, and you can head up here, if we go there, well, you will have gather over here, and you can meet up here, and I'll actually just lower the levees down here since we should have plenty of troops in the north to take care of all these wars. start invading here with our retinue since they are already in position and uh, people are being called in that's fine and uh, you've made the Maharaja of Sindh happier you have been attacked while collecting taxes in Madurai how dare they So the Maharaja here shouldn't really pose any kind of a threat. He actually has 15,000, which is more than I was expecting. So we might want to be a little bit careful that we don't run into any problems when trying to attack him. I wish to intercede on behalf of one of my prisoners. Um, okay, I guess. Not sure why that guy is in prison in the first place, so I guess we can release him. have all of you rendezvous over here. Okay. And we had a son who is not particularly special in any way. sign of the army from this guy. Oh, is this it over here? I guess it is. Well, that's fine. Uh, you can all continue over to there. We won a battle over here, apparently. And there is the 15,000 troops from the Maharaja. Unfortunately, we are going to take some attrition here. Let's not do that if we can avoid it. Okay, he is attacking us in this county. We are in jungle, so we'll get a small defensive bonus. Uh, we should be able to reinforce and probably win. So let's just make sure that we have good leaders in charge. I actually only have two flanks here. That's not good. You're going to get there on the 18th. It's actually too late. Hmm. All right, well, we'll just have to deal with it, I suppose. And in fact, will you... Yeah, that will stop him coming. That's fine. Uh, let's... Actually, not split this up. You are headed into here. Okay. So he's going to attack this one now. That's okay. At least we have three flanks in this army. We 
we should be able to reinforce here just as well. Gonna be here on the 27th. And we'll send half of this one as well. So let's just assume that's going to turn out alright, and turn our attention to what's happening over here. At least 17,000 gathered from various people there, so that could be a little troublesome to deal with. We are going to need a few more troops than we currently have. That's fine, we should be able to divert some from up in this area. Okay, we did indeed win this battle. Let's take this army and pursue. Uh, this might not turn out great, actually. We have lost a siege over here, that's fine. Okay, so we have about 14,000 in total to their 17,000. They are in the mountains, which is pretty unfortunate. Uh, let's see how much we can spare from up here, though. It looks like in this arm, or in this war, we are just fighting the one guy, so we don't have to worry too much about him, I think. Let's see. We'll leave this 3k here, take 6k down in this direction. Hopefully should be enough to deal with that, and we did lose that follow-up battle there. Which is unfortunate, but not the end of the world. I think we'll just send everyone in here to fight that. They are leaving, but we will catch them, okay. So that next battle should go better there. We're already up to 71%. Okay, more people being called in, and we lost another siege here, which is fine. Uh, how many people are we at war with? Quite a lot, as it turns out. We have a CB on Lombardy for some reason. Unfortunately, he's too distant to actually interact with, so I guess we can't ever find out what that CB is. I suppose we could probably deduce it somehow. Anyway. Alright, so we did win this battle. We are at 84%. The remnants of his army are retreating to here is actually where my army is already parked, so they should be able to receive them and win the resulting battle. And let's see how this turns out. Okay, up to 89%. We may be getting ticking war score against us for not controlling uh, the war goal, but we are not yet, actually. So that's fine. We can probably just sit here and do a few sieges and get to 100% that way. My war for somebody's claim on somewhere has ended inconclusively. So this is... Uh, this was our war over here with the Maharaja. Well, that's annoying. Oh well. I guess the claimant died. Uh, you have the claim on the other place, and yeah, you have the weak claim up here. I see. Oh well. That's unfortunate, but we still have plenty of other wars going on.
Um, I think we'll take another couple of thousands. Well, actually, I don't want to break off this siege when it's almost finished. Don't outnumber him by that much, and I'm kind of reluctant to get involved in this battle because I think we'll probably win, but if we don't, it's pretty bad for us. Uh, but hey, let's do it anyway. Okay, you have converted people to the Hindu faith. You are going to get there on the 23rd of March. Should pay some attention to timing here. And it looks like we need to have you wait for a little while. Uh, in fact, part of this army is headed in to attack us in Sistan. Oh, he's attacking me with lower numbers. Oh, this is desert, I see. Well... get good leaders in charge. That we can probably actually prevent him from doing that. Um, my wife, Tihunaka, is adamant. She tries to make me appoint one of her male friends who might mean more to her than I earlier suspected, a steward. No matter, well, no matter how well our current steward does his job, I need, to cons I need to decide whether I should make her happy by or if the current steward will get to keep his job. I'll just keep my current steward, I think. Okay. Yep, so we lost this battle. Which is pretty bad. Um, let's see, though. We can divert this army up to here. No, stay. Now we've lost our movement up there. Okay. That's fine, we can head up this way and attack them in the desert. And I think we're going to have to divert some more troops down here. Even though we're giving up a little siege progress. You're actually following us to here, okay. Well, that's going to take you... Actually, you're going to arrive tomorrow, okay. In that case... Ah, this is a retinue. So, disband the retinue, or... Well, it's likely to be destroyed anyway. We're not going to get any reinforcements there in a timely fashion, so I guess we just disband it. You are going to get out on the 19th of May, so we're not going to catch this army. But we may be able to catch it from here. Which would be good. And we lost a vassal Maharaja. So we need to find somebody else to educate this daughter. You will do just fine. Okay, so we should be able to catch this army here and wipe it out, or nearly do so. another siege over here, that's fine. Ooh, and it looks like he's heading up here to try and reinforce this. He's not going to get there on time, I think. Yeah, and he's changed his mind now, so you are retreating over to here. I guess we'll just leave this army there, maybe reinforce from here, and receive them.
Okay, great. So we're going to be getting ticking war square against us in all of these wars for not controlling our targets. Which is not going to be a big deal for a while. But we really do need to destroy this army in the near future and get to occupying some of these holdings. And this army is going to be enough to take care of the rest of the sieges that we need up here. So we don't need to divert that down. But it would be really nice if this army would move out of the mountains. Maybe try to siege this one. But it doesn't seem like that is going to be the case. Oh, and my heir died. That's very unfortunate. So now our heir is our one-year-old son. Okay. Well, at least we should be able to educate him to be a relatively decent character. Or let's hope so. Okay, well, we're out of time for this episode, so we'll have to continue all these wars in the next one. Thanks for watching, and join me again then.